Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Happy Thanksgiving, almost. I think by the time this airs, it will be the day before. And I hope everyone is having just a cozy, warm, fragrant Thanksgiving week so far and that you can enjoy it with those you love. I want you to know how thankful I am for all of you and for the support you give me on this channel and just for this opportunity I have to be watching movies with my friends from all over the world is truly a dream come true. Okay, so tonight I am watching a movie that is highly requested for this time, right around Thanksgiving, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I don't know anything about this movie except I think some of my Canadian friends are in it, like John Candy, and actually he's all I know. I'm seeing now as I pulled it up to get ready that it's rated R, which <laughs> I thought this was like a Disney movie. Like I thought it was like a cutesy kitty family movie. So I might be wrong on the tone of this, obviously if it's rated R but I'm excited I've heard about this people mention this movie for years and years and years but never seen it I think it's a comedy I'm hoping it is very festive remember if you want to see polling reactions vote on polls get early access to all of these movies and more you can check out my patreon right here it's also super helpful if you like and subscribe let's roll See what they did there the sound with each word that was cool new york city two days before thanksgiving oh my gosh this is festive oh steve martin's in it that's great <laughs> his flight leaves at six Dear heavens. Solid hours of staring at the material doing cosmetics, not curing cancer. Oh, damn it, I left my gloves in Brian's office. I don't need them, I get in the elevator, I get in the taxi, I get on a plane and I'm home. Would you pick them up for me? You'll never make this sit. <sighs> New York City is so foreign to me. I only know it from the movies. I went there once for 24 hours. <sighs> I know him too. I can't remember his name. <laughs> Check oh, that's so stressful. Poor guy. Excuse me. I was wondering if I could appeal to your good nature and ask you to let me have it. I don't have a good nature. I'll give you twenty dollars for it. <laughs> All right, you're a thief. Close. I'm an attorney. Oh my gosh. Happy holiday. Oh, I feel stressed for him. That was John Candy in the cab. Oh. They're gonna be here tomorrow, honey. Do you think Grandpa Walt is gonna give me a noogie? Grandpa's gonna give you a noogie. He loves to give you noogies. Noogies. I've not heard that word in so long. A noogie. Hello? Who is it? It's Daddy. My delay. There is. And when do you think it'll be in? Shouldn't be any later than 10. I'll wait up for you. <laughs> Look what he's reading! I know you, don't I? You stole my cab. I am sorry. Let me make it up to you somehow, huh, please? How about a nice hot dog and a beer? Uh, no thanks. Some coffee? No. Soda? No. Some tea? Slurpee? Slurpee. <laughs> Just let me know. I'm here. <laughs> I knew I knew you. <laughs> this is something you should have discussed you. with the ticket. First class is full. First you delay me, then you bump me. Can't wait to see what happens next. Is this a coincidence or what? Oh, of course. <laughs> Have a seat. I've never flown first class, but how much more money is it? 
Del Griffith, American Light and Fixture, Shower Curtain Ring Division. <laughs> shower Curtain Ring, so specific, I love it. So what do you do for a living, Neil Page? Marketing. Super, super, fabulous. He's so Canadian. I don't want to be rude, but uh, I'm not much of a conversationalist. The last thing I want to be remembered as is an annoying blabbermouth. You know, nothing and grinds it. my gears worse than some chowder head who doesn't know how to keep his big trap shut. Oh, my dogs are barking today. <laughs> Oh, the sock comes off! Stop it! That feels better. <laughs> Is this just one long movie about the perils of travel? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's never a good call. What's going on, Neil? What's going on is I'm in Wichita. We took off from New York. They closed Chicago. We landed here. No trouble on the home front. I got a motto. Like your work, love your wife. It's the flight situation. If we'd have more luck playing pickup sticks with our butt cheeks, and we will get in the flight at <laughs> daybreak. That's quite the analogy. <laughs> As soon as we got off the plane, you called home, I called the Braidwood Inn. I know the manager pretty well. I sold him some rings for his curtains. You want to pick up the cab fare? I'll make sure you get a room for the night. Yeah. Grab it into this thing, will you? That was his luggage that he tripped over. Why didn't you take the interstate? Because your friend had never been around here, so I just figured he'd like to look around. I'm proud of this town. Yeah, and the cab fare is just... Oh my gosh. Stick with me. I kind of love these movies where everything just gets worse and worse, and when you possibly can't think it... Why can't you talk tonight when you think it can't possibly get any worse? It does. Still dripping. How the hell are you? Still a million bucks shy of being a millionaire. <laughs> Gus, I told my friend here uh, you'd be able to fix him up with a room for tonight. You have a major credit card? The storm brought us here. I must have half your flight booked in already. Oh, no. There you are. Last room in the complex. Please tell me it's a king bed. Bring a picture to put on your bedside of a hotel. What is happening? Was that a thing? Put a quarter in and your bed vibrates. This is just like in Father of the Bride, just everything goes wrong. Oh, it's oh. okay. I'd switch pillows with you, but I'm allergic to sponge. I had no idea those beer cans were gonna blow like that. I left them on a vibrating bed. What did you think was gonna happen? Oh no. Didn't occur to you, so I have to sleep in a puddle of beer. They have a nice house. I oh I just did mine. What could that possibly be? Stop! <laughs> He's doing this on purpose. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I don't clear my sinuses, I'll snore all night. You're not a very tolerant person. How'd you like a mouthful of teeth? Ooh. Nice personality combination. Hostile and intolerant. You just spilled beer right. all over the bed. Well, who let you stay in the room? I even let you pay for it so you wouldn't feel like an intruder, which you most certainly are. I even let you pay for it. Didn't you notice on the plane I started reading the vomit bag? You know, everything is not an anecdote. You choose things that are funny or interesting. Your stories have none of that. They're not even amusing accidentally. Just stop. Just stop. Here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. Okay, read the room. He's really upset. You think what you want about me. I'm not changing. I like me. My wife likes me. My customers like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. Is he leaving or getting back in that bed? Never go to bed angry. What? That is terrifying. <laughs> he was eating popcorn in bed! Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Del, 
Why did you kiss my ear? <laughs> Where are you holding my hand? Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. <laughs> Those aren't pillows. Uh, Dill. Why did you kiss my ear? Did you see that game last week? Yeah, hell of a game, hell of a game. Take my socks out of the sink if you're gonna brush your teeth, alright? <laughs> oh, this is too much! Anyway, you slice it, the odds are we're gonna be having our turkey roll right here. If we wait for the flight, a buddy of mine works for the railroad. I sold them all their uh, shower curtain rings. Shower curtain rings and a train? That's the easy part. What? I had over $700 in here. We were robbed! Do you think so? He needs to be nicer. Just get me to the train station and I'll take care of everything else. Gus's son's gonna pick us up. Of course he is. This is not him, is it? <laughs> the suspense. I know that's generalizing, but... This is Neil Page from Chicago. Hi. Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Why? What's he doing there? Get your lazy behind out here and put that trunk up in the back. Oh, no, no, the word we've got it. She's strong. <laughs> Her first baby? Come out sideways. My gosh. How are they all going to fit in that truck? Oh, Hooks! Give him the goddamn hook! Are we there yet? This is <laughs> miserable. What do you think of the temperature is? One. <laughs> I. I. <sighs> they uh, didn't have two together. You wanna get together for a drink in the bar car? I'm gonna get some sleep. Anyway, it's uh, been interesting. That's the understatement of the year. Thanks for the ticket. I need your address. I, I gotta send you the money to pay you back for this ticket. Ticket's a gift. He does not want to give him his address. <laughs> All right, they're on their way. Now what's gonna happen? You walk a mile to the highway up here. Charles to meet you. And I'll take you to Jefferson City. You're stuck with them. Just making these people walk a mile and a half with all their bags through muddy fields. Aw, oh, look at you, Neil. And those pistachios. Oh my gosh. Check that out. It's a movie on a plane, huh? Why don't you take a picture of the last one? He's just laughing. Oh, that was good. I guess this is probably as good a time as any to like this. Our tickets are only good to St. Louis. Can they get on a plane in St. Louis? It's right, so weird to not have cell phones. You can't just look up flights and... You got one! Neil Page just got one! Three coins in a fountain Seeking happiness Thrown by three hotels Flintstones Meet the Flintstones <laughs> In a Martin's family <laughs> Yeah, that do time. If I'm with the American Light Fixture Company, Jewelry Division, this is Czechoslovakian Ivory. Walter Cronkite Moon Ring. Filled with helium so they're very light. He's selling them as earrings. These were originally handcrafted for the Grand Wizard of China. The Grand Wizard of China. I'm Marty Page, and I'm thankful that my dad's coming home for Thanksgiving. No, he's got to make it. Did you call the wife? No one was home. Probably at my daughter's Thanksgiving pageant. Oh. You missed him. Those are the precious moments, too. They don't come back again. <laughs> I've been spending too much time away from home. I haven't been home in years. What, seriously? No, it's a figure of speech. You know, I'm on the road so much. At least we're still sitting on over 100 beans for my brilliant idea. And we put our heads together. We've really gotten nowhere. Uh, you know, I think I'm holding you up. We'd get to where we're going a lot faster if we were alone. Meals breaking up with him, and he sees through it. <sighs> Thanks for the meal. Yeah, okay, that's all right. I've got to get going now, so if you'll excuse me. I have a feeling their paths are going to cross again. This is life made of town car speed, three, five. You rented a car. Five. Five. How did I know? No! 
I'm so anxious for him. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. I know this is supposed to be funny, but I legitimately feel terrible for him. No, mom's gonna do the turkey. <laughs> oh, oh, he's about to make an enemy. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> oh, baby. Welcome to Marathon. May I help you? Yes. You can start by wiping that f***ing dumbass smile off your rosy f***ing cheeks. Your company left me in the middle of f***ing nowhere with f***ing keys to a f***ing car that isn't f***ing there. I get why it's made an R now. I want a f***ing car right now. Yeah, I see your rental agreement. I threw it away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, where are you going? Chicago. Why don't you try the airline? It's a lot faster, you get a free meal. If I wanted a joke, I'd follow you into the John and watch you take a leak. What are you doing? I almost crushed your head like a melon. <gasps> of course. Get your car out of here! What is your problem? Can't you see we got an injured man down on the street? Help him up. My pleasure. They're back together again. <laughs> you know, I had a feeling our paths would cross again. That's what I said. I've never seen a guy get picked up by his testicles before. Do you have any idea how glad I am I didn't kill you? Do you have any idea how glad I'd be if you had? That's not real. Oh man, holiday travel. <laughs> Let's try again. I can't. Please stop doing that with the seat. I gotta get comfortable. I'm going to break it. I can't reach my feet to get my shoes off. I don't care to breathe your foot odor. Leave the shoes on. You know, there's plenty of things about you that bother me. But I'm uh, name one. Why don't you oh, name one? A few things. Name one. You play with your balls a lot. Do not. <laughs> Larry Bird doesn't do as much ball handling in one night as you do in an hour. You know what make me happy? Got a couple balls and an extra set of fingers. Oh, that's 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 real humor. <laughs> What would make me happy is if you give your mouth a rest. No Drive. problem. Well, thank you. These two. You broke the seat. Well, it wasn't broken when I got out. Why did you do this? <laughs> this is really comfortable. <laughs> I don't want to argue, all right? I'm going to sleep. Putting my wallet in the glove compartment. Don't let me forget it. All right. <laughs> is he actually playing this music? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Open your eyes! Eyes on the road! Ray Charles doing the best. Coming up on half past the hour. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Now is the time to talk and wake him up. He's trying to be nice. Oh my heavens. Oh. What's happening? We almost hit a deer, that's all. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. It's getting pretty hot in here. You ought to take your park off. No, 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 no. Going the wrong way? You're going the wrong way! What? You're going the wrong way! How would he know where we're going? Yeah, how would he know? What a moron. <laughs> He's gonna rage. He's gonna rage so hard. You're gonna have to like buy this car. I'll be able to pop this out, no problem. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. 
<laughs> I mean, that was close. We can laugh about it now. We're all right. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow. I really want it to be home. You finally did it to yourself. I mean, good luck turning the car. In. <laughs> How could you rent the thing anyway without a credit card? He used his credit card. Somehow your diner's club card wound up in my wallet. You stole it! I thought I... you put it there! Why would I put it there? <laughs> Kindness? Kindness? You stole it! I got mixed up with a hotel. Give it back! I can't! Why not? Because, because why? I put the card back in your wallet. Are you mad at me? <laughs> I hate it for them, but just like, of course. <laughs> yeah, right. They go back in. With all this fresh air, we're gonna sleep like babies. He could try to tell his wife this story. In the major credit card, I have uh, diners. Visa. I'll pay cash. Forty-two fifty. How about seventeen dollars? I can't do that. Have mercy. I've been wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. I can vouch for that. Can you call his wife? She can call her credit card number. Seventeen dollars and a hell of a nice watch. That is a nice watch. I got a slight problem here. You have seventeen dollars and a good watch. You have two dollars <gasps> and a Casio. <laughs> Well, Marie, you were as right as rain. I meet someone whose company I really enjoy. What do I do? I smother the poor soul. God, I got a big mouth. This is so sad. I can't sleep out there. I wish you were here with me right now. He's gonna... I'm gonna freeze to death out there. Is there a tequila there? A little Mexican trip. Here you go. That's Jeremy thinking. Come on up. I'm going back to uh, Jamaica. Go to Jamaica. Have some <laughs> rum, man. Irie, Irie, man. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? I'm dead and buried. All I'm gonna have around here to prove that I was here was some shower curtain rings that didn't fall down. At the very least, got a woman you love to grow old with. Right? You love her, don't you? Love is not a big enough word. To the wives. To the wives! There's something up with his wife. Did she die? As much trouble as I've had on this little journey, I'm sure one day I'm going to look back and laugh. You think so? I'm laughing already. <laughs> Was that seat hot or what? <laughs> I'm afraid to look at my ass. <laughs> Those griddle marks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the hell is this dude? Ah! Give it a good push now. All right. For Christ's sake. That better have been a very, very nice watch. He's doing the hand signals. They're actually doing it. They're actually driving in this car. This is not safe. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. They don't have wallets. What the hell are you driving here? <laughs> <laughs> we had a small fire last night, but we caught it in the nick of time. You have any idea how fast you were going? Our speedometer's melted, and as a result, it's 78 miles an hour. Well, yeah, I could buy that. Do you feel this vehicle is safe for highway travel? Yes, I do. I know it's not pretty to look at, but it'll get you where you want to go. I feel very hopeless for them. Where even are they now? Well, our shippers come in! Free and it's nonstop. They're in a cheese truck. How? How did he wrangle that? Oh my gosh, it's what is it? Ashkenagan. Guys, Dell had popcorn in bed, and that truck says, oh my gosh. This was meant to be. A great mate, Daniel. It really has. I'm sorry if I caused you any trouble. Well, you got me home. A little late. A couple days. I'm a little wiser, too. He did learn some lessons, didn't he? Happy Thanksgiving. You know, give my love to the family, will you? Say hello to Marie for me. Yeah. And you have a happy Thanksgiving. Hey, you know it. Where's Stell going? He's so happy. <laughs> the very least, got a woman you love to grow old with. I 
I've been home for years. Did he go back? Del, what are you doing here? Oh, Del. He got a new sweater. You said you were going home. What are you doing here? I don't have a home. Marie's been dead for eight years. Where has he been living? Just traveling? He's taking him home. Oh my goodness. Look, I won't stay long, I think. Maybe I'll just come in and say hi. Just come on. Thanksgiving miracle. Daddy! <sighs> I can't be a friend of mine. Oh, Mr. Curtis. Oh, Mrs. Page. She must have been worried. Oh my gosh! Del! John Hughes, 16 Candles and all that. Oh my gosh, that movie was so good. I'm so happy right now. These are happy tears. How could a movie that was so anxiety inducing and horrible circumstances be so perfect and heartwarming? I'm so happy I watched this right before Thanksgiving. This is gonna sound so corny, but I really think this is gonna make me have a better attitude about the holidays and you never know what someone's going through. It was like, what about Bob? Like, he hated him, but learned to love him, but instead of trying to kill him at the end, he invited him home for Thanksgiving. And he was so lonely, he was gonna spend it in a train station with no money. Oh my gosh! Those two together were amazing. Oh, that just makes me so sad that John Candy just was gone way too soon. But they just had the funnest chemistry and it was so funny. The socks and the sink, <laughs> like of course. And then the rental car, everything just but like, at the end, Neil realized how very, very lucky he was. And he got home to his beautiful family and uh, he learned some lessons along the way. Oh, it was just, it was happy and sweet and funny and perfect. So I am very happy that I watched this movie. I hope you all have a much easier time getting home for Thanksgiving safely. Have a wonderful one. I love you.